our Halloween outfit hunt. Got absolutely no outfits at all on PlayStation, but I do know where they all spawn, so hopefully we can get some outfits to go with my latest build. So, first place first. I haven't even uncovered the whole map on this, because I'm only like level 34, so we need to go up to Wilson Brothers Auto Repair, up here, and see if we can gather some outfits. We need the key to be able to get into somewhere from this place. So if I nip to this person's camp, which would be quite handy. Let's go up there. So we need the key from this place to all, uh, to open a door somewhere else, which again is tied into outfits. Hopefully the spawns haven't, you know, all been taken and gone. I guess we'll find out when we get there. Da, da, da. So we're actually after, like, the ritual bindings outfit, the school costume outfit. Witch's outfit, or the plans. Witch's one is probably the hardest one to get because it's a random spawn, it's not guaranteed to be somewhere. You can get the hat pretty easily, um, but the actual outfit itself, no. There's actually even a uh, vampire, dead vampire on the floor of one location, but you, you can't actually get his outfit, which is a bit of a, a, bit of a shame. Uh, let's drop down here. Now, where's the key? It's been a very, very long time since I've had to go and get this key, in all honesty. Somebody's taken over the whole area, haven't they? That's, that's not good. Not good at all. That means they might have had the key. Because this is actually somebody's base. No, I don't need that. Uh, unless we've already got the key, I guess we'll find out when we get there. Hmm. Let's have a look. So it's Freddy Fears, and we haven't got the key, that's a problem, isn't it? Hmm. At least he's killed everything, that's one thing. Let's go in the house, I might be at the house. Like I say, this isn't a location for an outfit, this is a location to get the key from. And I got the key when the game first came out on another platform, so remembering where it is, no chance. And I don't look up anything prior to actually doing it, so not ideal. No key down here, is there? Hang on a minute. Hmm. Maybe the key will be locked in a safe. I can't remember. Let's give it a go. <laughs> no. Right. Guess we're going to have to get on with our tour then and hope we can get in. First things first, we need to go to a location that I've probably not unlocked. It's about here somewhere. So we're going to go to past Sunny Skis, go to Sunny Top. Probably wear armor for this to be honest with you because Sunny Top can have a Scorch Beast spawn and Sunny Top is normally full of mutants, so I don't really want to be bothering with any of them. Just play it safe, stick some armor on, and away we go. Not too bad if you're level 50 plus, you can sort of stand everything, but at level 34, you're still building everything up and getting your armor going, etc. But this will be the first item that you get for your Halloween outfit. So we'll go and see a cargo bot. Hello. Not gonna bother with that. It's a bit damaged. Look at the way that's flying. Right, so let's just put an outfit on quickly. Also help my carry weight ability. So, um, quite heavy. Let's go over here then, make our way over. If you don't know the area, this area has actually got the um, course for doing the tadpole events for the rucksack. It's one of the uh, courses that you have to run down and run through to get your, your rucksack upgrades and stuff. If you're only running the, the small backpack, the free one that you get from Morgantown, then to get the normal one, the bigger one, you've got to. This is one of the things you can do, the athlete challenge. 
course, is littered with mines and traps and all sorts. I remember doing this. It was uh, eventful. I had to do it twice, failed it the first time. Go down here. My power cores are up five. Okay, okay. Loads of places still not locked, unlocked yet on the PlayStation, so that's a bit nuisance. But what we're heading for is a lookout tower on the hill. And once we've unlocked the lookout tower, we will be able to grab it to the side of it. Mutant there, look. I don't really want to bother with them. Let's just get the outfits. The rest of the places I have got unlocked, so it's just this first one that I'm having to walk to. Should speed up after that. Okay. There's the tower in question. Um, every time I've been there, it's not been guarded, so that's a bonus. You can spawn straight here if you've already unlocked it. Not normally anything here. There you are, North Mountain Lookout discovered. There's a crate down there just below. That's only got a couple of frag grenades in it. But if we go all the way up. Keep going, keep going. Collectory junk on the way up. See, we've got a bit of a theme already here, Halloween y theme, which is quite cool. Shame you can't have some of this stuff for your camp, for a Halloween themed camp, but maybe that's coming soon. So, first things first, there's a witch's hat. Sometimes that's there, sometimes it's not. So, I don't know if that's related to if somebody's took it or not. Um, if we have a look at that quickly. There you go, basic hat does the job. Also why you're here worth mentioning is if you take the ranger stuff, because under here is a ranger outfit, if you've got the hard bargaining perk maxed out you're going to get around 50 caps for that so always pick that up. It's always there, it's not rare so you might as well sell it at a train station. And here we go, double whammy Halloween costume at Skellington. So if we have a quick look at the Skellington costume, uh, there we go. Check that out. Now obviously you need the other bits to go with these to complete the outfits. So we'll take that while we're here and any other junk we can get. Like I say, still levelling up so every single thing helps. You can read all these notes if you want. While you're here you might want to do the observation if you've not done it. So look out, press X and it will locate all the things in the area that you've not actually found yet. So there you go, it's found what, three for me? Which is cool. Nothing else outside? No. Let's have a quick look. Okay. If you're in power armor, you can jump out. Or if you're in some serums. Don't do that. I've done it before, I forgot that I'm not in power armor. Yeah, that was not good. Okay, so now we're going to move over to Pumpkin House, which is here. Now, we can either run to Pumpkin House or fast travel. The speed it loads out, you know what, it's going to be faster to run, isn't it? So we find one route. So Pumpkin House, sometimes, a little bit further down the road, has um, like a trick-or-treat party. They're all dead, of course. And sometimes they have you know, bits and bobs on them, outfits, etc. But they don't spawn all the time. It's sort of it's like pretty rare. There's only three of them all dead at the side of the road down from Pumpkin House. But uh, finding them is sort of a matter. We go over here. It was definitely faster to walk and run. Now you're going to get a quest pop up, an event, when you get near this place, you can generally ignore that. If you want to look for the dead people that I 
I've seen in the past. They are normally sort of down there near that bus uh, at the side of the road. So they're not there. I've seen them from here. Let's go in the house. Not guarded, so you can walk straight in. So many pumpkins to carve. Pretty cool. There's like 300 pumpkins or so here. Uh, need them for camp, don't we, really? So, we go to this person. There you go. Halloween costume mask. The school. Take that. That completes your Halloween costume outfit. Check that out. That's pretty cool, isn't it? So you can wear that as a complete outfit. Now, we do have a, um, a timed event coming up over Halloween with Fallout 76 whereby in the White Springs you basically have to cause chaos of this chief, blow up cars and other robots etc and um, that event everybody's going to be dressed up in some sort of Halloween costume, so maybe clown or school like I've just shown you a witch or whatever so you might want to be getting these outfits, like I say you might have to serve a hop because yeah, they're, they're popular, especially at this time of year. I'm doing this quite early in the morning, so um, normally you get a, a decent decent run at it. If I left this till sort of the afternoon time when parts of the world wake up, I'd probably have no luck at all. There's a dead bolt dweller here, look. Always look for stim packs when you're in this type of building. You can never have enough of them, let's face it. So I'll go back down. Where are we going now then guys? Let's have a look. I don't think I've got the other locations unlocked either. That's a pain. We have... And we have Freddy Fears. Now, if you go to Freddy Fears, be ready for a bit of a fight because there's normally lots of ghouls. There's a Wendango there. Oh, fast travel to that one. And like I say, you could really do with the key, which is from the garage that we've just been to. It's just that with somebody putting a camp there, I think they'd already had everything out of the garage every time they spawned in. So let's see. You can normally get sort of two or three bits and bobs from Freddy Fears, so it's definitely worth a visit. And they're all up this side of the map. Now this is going to be fun because like I said, this character's not super good yet. 32, we can do that. Shall we just melee everything? Don't want to use plasma calls upon Scorch, do we? This is a bloody dax, so um I think we can't with the bloody dax. Bloody is basically uh, if you don't like, does more damage the less the health is. Is this the bloody account? Oh, I can't remember. Berserker. No, that's not it then. That's the problem when you play this game on multiple platforms, you forget what you've got and where it is. Still being shot at you. Yeah. We'll get to go inside in a second. There's quite a lot. A lot of the videos showing these locations don't they sort of clear it all out before <laughs> before they go in. So you sort of oh, yeah, wander in without any resilience. No, that's why I'm doing this live so you can actually see the type of stuff that you're gonna encounter. So let's go in. Straight away we're gonna go down here. We have a clown hat and a clown outfit. Now obviously a lot of people use that in conjunction with the chainsaw or the flamer or the flamer chainsaw if you modify it. Looks really good, you know, because it's dirty clown outfit, so it's a decent one to do. Pick up all this and yes you did just spot something. Another witch's hat. Very man you can sell them, so always pick it up. And as if by magic, under the skull. So that's that one, and clown hat to get that. This is cool because this place has not been touched yet. No one's been here. I'll take you all the way through. Get the clown outfit while I'm at it. You know what? I didn't actually see that first pass. So take that. So we've now got spares to sell or get your buddies. Where are you? Come here. Very mantas. Oh, thanks. We'll sell all that type of thing. Always keep a stash of pre-war money as well because some of the daily challenges seem to come up quite often with scrap pre-war money. What else have we got in here? Why are you guys? You've got a 
recipe, pretty basic one. I love the steel. Pretty much ran out of ammo and everything because of the steel, so. And there's a challenge at the moment to scrap five different building resources and get some atoms, so we'll do that. And I'll drink. So, more chops. That'll do. Hmm. <laughs> when you're a low level, that's a problem. Can I change my perk cards to do this? Should I even be bothered? Not really, no. Okay. We don't need to go in there, so it's not critical. If we get another locked door, I will swap my perk around and get that done. I always have telephones and stuff, they have screws in them and other consumables that you will need. That door literally goes there, doesn't it? It's like round. It's pointless opening it. But <laughs> okay, let's go outside. We have a location left to do, you see. Light bulb, yeah, it's got copper in it. If we go up these stairs, and this is the bit where your key plays a part that you were getting from the auto place. I can't remember if I've already used it and opened it. We'll find out. Okay, so... There's the room that needs the key. Shall we try it? There you go. That's why the key wasn't there. I did actually already pick it up and I forgot. Uh, leaving town note. Yep. Stay safe. Yeah, not really. Okay, so in here is just some goodies basically to pick up. Got a pack. Steel canister. These are cool for displaying. The little Mr. Handy models if you're doing a camp display. Everything because like I say there's another challenge going on. And then we'll do the final outfit location and I'll also show you where the which outfit spawns, but the chances of it spawning are 0 0.56. As in I have played this game for hundreds of hours across the formats, and I mean hundreds of hours. And I have never, ever seen the witch outfit spawn. I've server hopped must be 50 times at, at one of the prime locations and I've never seen it. Yet some people say, yeah, I server up three times and I got it. And you just can't work it out, can't you? So if you know somebody that can craft it, if you get the plans, brilliant. Um, I knew somebody that could craft it and got like eight or nine crafted. But I still haven't got the plans, still can't craft it. So that's a rare item. All that technical data, lovely. Already got technical data, so that hasn't uh, popped that quest. Obviously, getting the technical data is good because you can put it in the safe and have a chance at getting the Brotherhood of Steel power armor paint schemes or the bomber jacket, super rare. All good stuff. But again, very, very rare spawn rate. Okay, so we've got all that. Now we're going to go... Wow, really long trip, so we're going to have to fast travel. Back to the vault. Save some caps, because if I fast travel straight to the place, yeah, it would have cost me, what, 50 caps? I think I've only got about 400, so we don't really want that. Did notice no Windingo, or Wendango, however you pronounce it, at Freddy Fears. First time I've not seen one, they normally have one. We'll get this outfit and then I'll show you the spawn locations for the Witch's outfit and possibly where the, the vampire can spawn, but like I say, he's, he's dead and you can't get his outfit anyway, so yeah. The Witch's outfit actually spawns, it's quite funny when you go to the Dead Witch, she normally has things to collect from her as well as the outfit or plants. She only has a toothbrush and cotton candy. <laughs> That's just a funny combination really isn't it? Okay so let's go over and see what we can get. So we're going to the Mothman Museum okay but most people or a lot of new players sort of just see the top area of this 
and there's like a shrine and stuff with mothman eggs uh, worth collecting way there because at the vendors they sell for a lot especially if you've got the recipe to cook them so if you cook them all up first then take them to the vendor they sell pretty well so you might want to clear the place out it's full of scorched they're everywhere but what we're aiming to do is go down into the basement okay now again i've not been here for quite a number of months actually so i'll have to remember on the fly where to go it's through the toilet Sometimes you get ticks spawn here, giant irradiated ticks. Uh, they're worth killing and picking up because you can get tick blood, which will obviously make your skin pack. And as for the eggs, well, I'm sure you know where they are. Any player that's played this for a number of hours will probably know a lot of what I'm talking about. This is what you know, you, you new guys, really. And then there's the asylum. Now the asylum is actually the Brotherhood base, and it's not in a good area, to be honest. It's quite a tricky area. But that's full of asylum workers' outfits. Some are super, super rare. There's a lot of my eggs, by the way, I've been collecting. There's some. There's loads more up here. Um, so the, the asylum workers' outfits are very popular. If you're lucky enough to get red, count your lucky stars because they actually sell for a ton of caps. Green, brown, blue, also pretty damn rare. The hats that go with them. The normal white ones and the dirty ones, they're absolutely everywhere. So you have no problem with you there. Pick up straight jackets as well. They're worth a considerable amount of the train station vendors. Picking up all these guys, I'm sidetracking, aren't I? There's trouble going in your sidetrack. Right. everywhere. Door lock. I should have gone around the back. You know you can never unlock something when somebody's attacking you. You can never unlock it quickly. Let's try that. It's only a level one lock. Not a lot of fans. And the telephones. I don't need any of that. Battery. Okay, so this is the top half of the museum. It's not really moth money though, is it? Apart from the little statue there, you can get a few camp. The worship statue that I showed in my camp to start with. Um, yeah, let's go and have a look around, shall we? Let's go upstairs first. There you go, crafty bench. Always handy because you can scrap away junk, make yourself way less. There you go. Always good. Nothing in there, nothing anywhere else. There's a few bits and bobs to pick up in here, but that's your own decision if you're going to bother. Oh, fun. Let's go down. What's this building? Can't remember. Mm. Outside. Figures. Right, let's go down and into the back. Oh, no, I know I'm going to have to do these perks, aren't I? Okie dokie, pretty sure I've got the perk. Um, which one's the lock pick on? I can't remember. Lock pick, lock pick. It's on perception, isn't it? I'll pick a new one. Uh, perception. Lock pick, lock pick. That'll do. Lucky I had a couple of upgrades to do, isn't it, really? We've got one unused point, so we can stick that on. There we go. Let's get that done now. So used to having three star on everything. When I come onto this account, it's like, oh yeah, I can't unlock this door. Right, 
there we go. We're in to the toilet. Which looks pretty boring, doesn't it? Just pick up anything that's useful. Zip pack super. Now this is where you're going, through here. Okay. It's like a secret. So you are gonna need that two star lockpick guys, otherwise you're not gonna not gonna get any yet. That's why I'm doing this live. Because like I said, a lot of the players that do this they're over level fifty, they've got absolutely everything. They just walk in and then they forget if you're like a level ten or something, you're not gonna have the lockpick in. So you'll have come here, wasted your caps getting here. You know, it's uh doing it live, at least you see. So we've got loads of cool things. Looks very much like my camp. Uh, pick up this sort of thing because you know they sell for pretty good money. Nice tree thing. Yep. Oh, what else have we got? The item you're going to be looking for is behind us, by the way. So here we go back here. Mm, is it not spawned or has my memory failed me? We're after a ritual bindings mask. Where is it? I am sure it's here we go. Ritual bindings. There's your item. Let's have a quick look at that. Um, ritual bindings, ritual bindings. There we go. Yeah, a bit of a weird one. Especially when you wear it, you'll see what I mean. It's really strange looking. So we get that one. Might as well pick all this up while I'm here. Good photo opportunities is to wear this kind of stuff like the straight jacket or ritual bindings or whatever. And um, if you can unlock the electric chair, get a plan for that and sit in the electric chair. It's good to uh, take a picture with. You put your electric chair in your camp, so you build it. It's a camp item. I'm not actually sure if I've got it yet. So there's your ritual bindings. There's another problem, look. Requires level three. Yeah. I haven't got any more unlocks to do, as you've seen. There we go. There's the mask. It's actually fallen off. I'm sure that's on something. I don't know why. I'm pretty sure that is either on a pew or a table. But there it is. Let's pick that up. That goes with the outfit we've just picked up. Have a look at that one. Uh, there we go. Check that out. That is, a, that is a badass mask. Perfect for Halloween. So they're the ones you can get really, really easily. Along with... If I'll just show you where the asylum is. You probably know. The asylum is right down here. So you probably haven't got it unlocked if you're a low level. Fort Defiance. This is actually the asylum. And inside the asylum is where all the asylum keepers outfits are. Normally on level 3. And also the straight jackets. And there's also a Fajnap mask in there as well. Sometimes. But the place gets heavily bombed because people know how rare the coloured uniforms are. And how many caps to sell for. So sometimes you can go in and it's completely gutted. So a bit of perseverance with that one. As for the last thing, I will show you the location that I farm the most to get it. And we're going to go to an area I've not even unlocked on this ship. So we'll go to this guy's camp. Thanks, whoever you are. PRS Vales, thank you very much. We're going to need 59 caps. Ow. We're going to go there. And I'll show you the spawn location. Some really weird spawn stuff happens at this certain location. But the witch is one of them. Along with a sheep squish, normally level 80, um, super mutants, ghouls, scorched. Sometimes you can get nothing and it's just something to look at, but be warned, you can end up in heavy combat. So be cautious if you like level 15 or under. Just saying. If you've got level 15 and you've got Raider Power Armor, um, which you can equip at level 15 then yeah you should be able to bite everything off okay I will be doing another live stream showing you how to get the level 15 power armor and where all the pieces are for it you can get it literally done in like 15 minutes max um, great camp location mate that's superb we're underwater good job I was in power armor Building a camp, pay attention to where people are going to spawn, honestly. Right, <laughs> better than spawning inside something, aren't it? So, where are we going? Um, we are going sort of here 
ish. Shall I walk down? It's a dodgy area, okay? So you, you, if you're a low level, you got to be a bit careful. Take some artillery with you. So I haven't got much artillery at the minute. So what have we got with us? It's any good. A Gatling plasma with half a core. Gatling gun with zero bullets. Um, super sledge. Pistol for when I was doing meat week. Yeah, not many, not many rounds at all, guys. So I don't really want to encounter anything. I was doing Scorch Beast Queen event with some people yesterday, and literally used all my my Gatling cores up. So not ideal. So there we go. We've got power station to the right, which I haven't unlocked. Might want to unlock that in a minute. When you've unlocked the power station, you will spawn. Right, right here, facing that sort of way. And what you're going to do is, uh, is let me get this exactly right because without having them unlocked, it's tricky. Where's the road? Come on this way. Let's go to the dam. It's the crevice dam, basically. I'll unlock the dam. Like I said, it's easy when you've got everywhere on the map and you can just fast travel and go and know you're there. But, uh, so. Now the dam's full of super mutants and robots and stuff, so avoid it unless you want to unlock it. Just realised. Character need to drink again. Bring purified water with me. Let's go. No, I don't want to join that. Thanks. Uh oh. That was. Should we go and unlock this? Might as well. Now this place does have a little uh, machine just down there on the right-hand side that makes fusion cores for your power armors. If you've got the generators unlocked, you can hook one up to it and um, make fusion cores. Yeah, you'll get attacked. Didn't unlock, did it? Didn't click. That's weird. Right, whereabouts are we? This whole windy area can have weird things happen. But there's one certain area. And as you can see I can't run, I'm out of AP, which is no good. I really don't want to find a sheep squish right now. I'll probably die. This isn't working out guys. I've got myself spun around here. I'm going to give you tough information. <laughs> Where's the junction? And why hasn't it unlocked that dam? Oh it has unlocked the dam. That's weird isn't it? We need crevice dam unlocked. I'm going to have to run back down this road because, yeah, I've missed the turning again. Actually, like it's great when you, you're doing these and you're just chopping the bits out where you've screwed up, but live? Unlock the location and they 
basically. <laughs> I should have got that right the first time. I've, I've spawned here so many times. Thunder Mountain is offline. Repeat, Thunder Mountain is offline. Okay. Oh, Any brothers with a background in engineering, on. report to the plant for immediate repairs. Yeah, it's making it look easy because we haven't bumped into any really nasty bad guys, but we normally do around this location. So if you get it this easy, you're laughing. Normally find a mega sloth or something horrendous. Which is fine when you're level 15, you gunned up to the nines. But not when you're a low level. So I thought I saw something running around in there, I didn't know the trees. Okay. You can get anything spawned in this location I've taken to. Nuclear bomb unexploded in the floor. Um, an injured super mutant who won't really want to fight, he just wants to walk off. And he was moaning on and on and on about um, a sheep type of creature that's attacked them and there's all these dead super mutant buddies all in the corner. So uh, there's some little stories. It's a pretty good area. Okay, we've got a signal grenade. That's odd. So finally we're in the right place. Sorry about that. Now you spawn here looking at this when you spawn at the dam. There's the dam. You spawn here. The area you're looking for for the witch outfit is literally where them robots are. I don't think I've ever seen the robots before, so I don't actually know what this is. So quickly. You die, you but there's all sorts of weird stuff here. We got, what have we got handmade out of that? A night vision one, there's nothing legendary I don't think. But what I'm going to do, uh, is that night vision one? Quick look at that. Not bad for parts is it really? I'm going to server hop so you can see what I mean about something different appearing. Now you might want to run a bit further up the road because where, if I pull the map up, which is now taking forever, Come on. Right, so you see the squiggly bit um, from Freddy Fears. This bit here, sometimes the witch's outfit can spawn there as well. So it's sometimes worth running up the road and sort of running to the bunker. It's normally this squiggly bit for the witch's outfit. If not, this is your easiest one by far because you spawn right there. I'm just going to go and unlock the dam and then we'll server hop to show you exactly what I mean. Now, Crevice Dam. Again, if you're going to go and unlock it, go prepared. There's a super mutant on the roof with a rocket launcher, and there's some high level super mutants guarding it, so just be aware of that one. Alright, so. There's the dam. That's my weight, by the way. Uh, yeah, we're fine. That's good. Right, let's log out. Quit. We'll log back in and see what else we get. I'll put any amount of money on it, we will not get the same thing. We will get something completely weird and random. But what? I must have seen 20 different things at this location. It's really weird. Let's go. The only trouble with logging in and out is it does take a while. Flicking through photos there as we load in. They're from daily challenges that have been done. It had to photo like five red rockets one day and then five factories. I think that's today actually. I've done that one, five factories. Um, yeah, so you end up with all sorts of weird photographs. But it unlocks the atoms to spend in the atom store, so yeah, you're going to do it. Okie dokie. Like I say, leave the asylum until you know you've leveled up um if you've got the power armor at level 15 maybe and it is a maybe because there is a wendango in in the asylum itself the scorched everywhere scorched beasts can be there at all like most of the time ideally a little bit higher than level 15 unless you want to go and rambo it and try your luck 
take some stim packs and some purified water and stuff to keep your health up but these areas these are not too bad let's go wow look at the loading times on this it's getting worse every patch they put in and they add more content it takes longer and longer to load the game i think it's now near 80 gigabyte game or something it's like filling up the hard drive okay so we're here there's the dam so we're facing the dam typical there's the road it's not finished drawing anything in yet if you notice with this game when you load in it has to literally finish loading everything let's give it a minute look it's not loaded the rocks over there yet properly or anything oh hi it's loaded that <laughs> He's only level 21. You could have him as a pet. You could tame that and take it to your camp. He wouldn't last very long though, would he? Other players would kill it. Come on. Okay. Told you it'd be something different. Let's see what this is, yeah? Glad it ain't a sheep squish. Oh, come on, dudes. Really? Third one gone. Has he ran off? Hi mate, can I have a shotgun? It's a bit hard, right? I'm meleeing a lot because, like I was just showing you, I've used all my ammo up doing other events. So, what do we have here then? A dead person with nothing at all on him. What about his tent? There you go. Plan for trapper legs. Like I say, completely random. You can get some really weird stuff out in here. So be warned, what you've seen you know, here is pretty tame to what I've seen. This is the best place to get the witch's outfit. Good luck. I've never managed to get it yet. And I've probably got seven, eight hundred hours worth of gameplay in this game over the formats. Good luck. Guys, that's the end of this live stream. My next one will be a Power Armor Guide, levels, where to get them from, how to upgrade, what's the best things to do with it, where to get the fusion cores from. I'll uh, hopefully do that on a shorter stream than this one. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye for now.